Papa Pepper and Monster Truck the Pepper in False Alarm. All right, guys, as it turns out, it was a false alarm. Um, like a lot of places, like a lot of people, when it comes to things like snakes, not everyone in our immediate area appreciates them. And, uh, and that's per perfectly fine. Nobody has to appreciate them. But the nice thing is that over the years, they've come to know, hey, if we have a potential issue, Let's just call Papa Pepper. So we're actually helping some neighbors pick some blueberries today. And uh, we're actually just walking Rosemary, taking a short break, walking Rosemary down to our land to introduce her to some of the goats for a bit. And I hear people calling me saying, pygmy rattlesnake, pygmy rattlesnake. Now we just found one like a week ago, right near where it was. So I took off running. I was just enjoying myself. Uh, Picking the blueberries, you know, walking around barefoot. Um, you know, taking a shower, it gets so hot down here, my sh uh, shirts soak through and just get completely covered in sweat. So, took off running. And the second I got up there, we saw this guy. And for those of you who know snakes, you're gonna know this is not a pygmy rattlesnake. This is actually a prairie king snake. Uh, they look somewhat similar sometimes to uh, the common corn snakes in the pet trade. But I came running up and I'm like, oh, okay, not a pygmy rattlesnake. Now I did want to find another pygmy rattlesnake to do a photo shoot with them with my macro lens and stuff like that. So it was a little disappointing, but still a really cool snake and nice to know that, um, that nobody was really in danger. I know a lot of times people just completely freak out about every snake and actually my wife... Um, had a conversation with one of the neighbors because my wife, Mama Pepper, was the one who was right there making sure it didn't get away till I got there. And one of the ladies was like, oh, just kill it, kill it. And my wife's like, well, that's illegal and there's no need to do that. And, oh, that's what we do. And, you know, it is what it is. People can choose to obey laws or not. People can choose to fear all sorts of stuff or not. And uh, we just choose to appreciate these different creatures that God created and... Uh, live as peaceably as we can with them. This is a helpful snake. This is a beneficial snake in my opinion. This is going to eat a lot of rodents, a lot of chipmunks and mice and rats and all sorts of stuff that we get around here. And it's also going to potentially be eating some of your other snakes, including venomous ones. There's nothing wrong with that in my opinion. Nothing wrong with that. So while it was a little um, sad not to have a, a beautiful pygmy rattler for a photo shoot, um, totally cool, totally beautiful snake, really happy, nobody got hurt, you know, those type of things. And, uh, you know, ultimately a false alarm, but, but, you know, that intro clip of me and Monster Truck just running around screaming. That's common. And, uh, remember once my wife has a cousin who is terribly afraid of frogs. So we're hanging out, talking to him. All of a sudden, one of the kids had a frog. It jumps on the ground. The lady screams and jumps back. And she goes, ah! <laughs> and she's got like an eight-year-old son. And he sees the frog jump. His mom freaks out. He jumps back and he starts screaming. And I look at him. <laughs> so I jump back and I start screaming. I said, oh no, it just did the worst thing they ever do. I said, what to do, what to do, what to do? I said, well, it, it hopped. You know, I mean, that's you know, the frog. But, uh. Anyway, false alarm today, just a beautiful snake. And like I said, you know, when people don't like these, and I do appreciate them, and it gives me a chance to not only meet them, say hi to them, but also to relocate them to a safe place for them, a better place for the other people. It's, uh, I don't know, a blessing all around. They get rid of the snakes, the snakes get to live. I get to enjoy the snakes, and it works out well for me. So uh, we appreciate it, even when it is a false alarm. All right, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, 
then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.